Backhand from pulling slap. If you slap the opponent's front hand, he will try to withdraw his hand immediately. You take advantage of this opening in his defenses to execute an attack with Udakin. Remain in an alert position after turning to the outside. Change for Kizami Zuki to Uraken. This technique is effective when there is a large distance and you wonder whether you can reach your opponent with Kizami Zuki. When striking, make your motion small and use the snapping power of your elbow and wrist. Since the distance is greater, be sure not to lean forward. Dropping straight strike. When far away from your opponent, enter with a strong oizuki, and then execute an attack by crouching down under your opponent's arm, just as he tries to punch at the initial contact. You create an apparent opening in your upper body, thus drawing out an attack by your opponent. Make your body small by lowering your head as much as possible in order to protect your face. Make sure you don't lean over.
round punch. You execute an attack to your opponent's blind spot from the side while avoiding his attacking line. The part of the body used here is the same as for Udakin. Raise your elbow, using it as your pivot point, and rotate your arm to strike. Let's look at the actual movement. Hook punch. In Mawashizuki, you rotate only your arm and strike from the side. But in Kagizuki, you strike forward while your body moves to the side. In both techniques, you attack your opponent from an angle so as to surprise him. Note the difference between the Mawashizuki technique introduced earlier where your fist moves in a swinging motion, while here the punch involves a complete extension. Bend your elbow 90 degrees when striking, and enter with your body and punch at the same time. Snap the opponent's front hand with your udaken, and then immediately execute Mawashizuki. This is a technique which takes your opponent by surprise.一つ人格完成に努めること一つ誠の道を守ること一つ努力の精神を養うこと一つ礼儀を重んずること一つ血気の湯を戒めること一つ血気の湯を戒めること